Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. Today we're going to be going over the Recover Tactical Brace for Glock pistols. So first, what we're going to do is make sure the firearm is completely unloaded. This is very, very important. After we make sure the firearm is completely unloaded, we're going to start on the back of the pistol itself. This is going to be installing the charging handle. You'll notice that it clips over the top, goes over the bottom, kind of fits in the serrations, and then there is going to be two screws with nuts on the other side. You'll notice that these are the two smallest screws. That is a screw and also a nut for the other side. You're gonna put the screw in from the top, put the nut on the bottom, tighten that up, make sure it's nice and snug. Next, what we're gonna do is install it in the brace itself. You'll notice that it slides into a groove and it's very self-explanatory where it's going to fit inside of the brace. After you get that installed, it is one screw that's gonna tighten into a nut on the other side. And finally, we're going to install the magazine holder. This is very simple. It just slides onto the Picatinny rail on the front, locks in, and you'll hear a nice click. Now that it's installed, let's take this bad boy to the range and test it out. Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be talking, going over, and even shooting the Recover Tactical 2020 Stabilizing Brace. So first, let's talk about what the brace is used for. You put a Glock inside of this brace, allowing you to have a stabilizing brace that you can put on your arm to help recoil and the functionality of the firearm. You will see on the front, it looks like there is a grip. This is actually a magazine holder. So you'll notice that you can put a spare magazine in here and then you can pull this out for the reload and go from there. This is nice because you can have two full-size magazines being 34 rounds right here. You can put this in a bag, put this in your vehicle, and it's an awesome little setup. This is just a stock Glock 17 Gen 4. Uh, this setup would be much better if you did have a red dot whether it be mounted on the slide itself or recover actually makes an adapter that goes from the side to the top where you can mount the red dot above the slide itself i have shot recover tactical braces with red dots and it is much better than just iron sights this is just a standard setup so i can test it out see what i think one thing that i do notice uh, is this kind of covers up the slide release slash slide catch. Uh, so I, I, I do think it's gonna be kind of hard to release that. So I'll try to go over the top. I think that's why they gave you the extended uh, little base right here that goes on the back so you can rack it with, if you don't have a red dot, you do get in the package a low profile. So if you do have a red dot mounted on that slide, it'll stay out of the way. So I'm gonna test this thing out, uh, see what I think. I'm gonna deploy it, kind of shoot, reload, and just kind of get used to it and see what it's all about. So first couple shots, some things that I notice. Uh, one, that slide release is kind of hard to get to, so I will be going over the top. Uh, after you reinsert that mag, no big deal on that. Without having a red dot, you are getting really low to line those sights up. So I do see how the red dot would make it a lot uh, easier to get down, acquire it quickly, and then get to shooting. The magazine holder that you see on the front is tight. It's not terrible, but you do have to really rip that thing out to get that reload. Something that you can get used to pretty easily, but it's good because it keeps that magazine nice and locked in until you need it.
So after shooting this thing a little bit, there are a lot of things uh, that I do like right off the bat. Being able to retain a magazine right there is just super cool. You can reload from there. You can tack reload and put the existing magazine back into the front. It's just really nice to be able to have two magazines right here. Uh, one thing that I do notice after shooting at a decent amount is getting so low with iron sights, you really feel it on your cheek. With the red dot, it would get you off of that just a touch, and I can only imagine it makes it much, much better. Other than that, it's really fun to shoot. Uh, you can really get a good stable platform with it. It's, I mean, this thing is ultra concealable. You can put this in anything, in a bag. You can put it you know, in your vehicle. Of course, don't leave it in there. You don't want to do that. Uh, but being able to take this with you and just keep it concealed is an awesome, awesome setup. I really like it so far. We'll do some more testing, do some more shooting, and we'll let you guys know. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the video today. If you have any questions on this product or any product that Midwest Gunworks has, shoot us a message, leave a comment below, and as always, check us out at MidwestGunworks.com.